The next story is about a retired cowboy turned dingo breeder. Here with the story is Jeff Chu. They're called dingoes, an Australian free-ranging dog breed with wolf-like features, and they are alive and domesticated in Afreda. Retired Montana cowboy and horse trainer Robert Hemby has been breeding and raising dingoes for nearly 60 years. He says dingoes are popular with ranchers because they are terrific livestock herders. He sells them locally to ranchers and as far away as Seattle, Mexico, and Canada. It only adds to the dog's value that dingoes can no longer be acquired from Australia, where selling or shipping them out of the country is now illegal. And Hemby says it's just another reason he keeps raising the rare breed. He has 19 dingoes of different ages at his home near Afreda. My first dingo, we bought it and brought it from Australia in 1955. And from there on, I've had dingoes all along. And then in 2000, and right at 2000, I think in 1999, Somebody come to me and wanted to buy one of my puppies, so I sold it to him. Hemby says the dogs are unfairly maligned as not good pets, which made them hard to sell in the beginning. But he says those who have bought dingoes for $500 to $1,500 do not complain. Besides being loyal and protective of their owners, Hemby says dingoes are fast and fearless watchdogs. They can even herd bulls. Dingoes, people have the wrong ideas about them. They think they're a real wild dog. They're not. They are really the wild dog of Australia, but they're not wild. They're very intelligent, easily trained for anyone. Farm, ranch, home, in the city. I've had many people buy them in the city over in Kent, in Seattle, Everett, those places. It was the stock contractors for the Professional Bull Riders Association and the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association that asked him to save the dingo bloodline for use in rodeo. He sells his dingoes to stock contractors for those associations upon request. Oh, they're the best. They're natural cow dogs. They're natural. It's just in them. It's built in them. Evidently, they're just born with it. A feed store in Moses Lake helps him sell the dingoes locally, but he can often be seen selling the dogs from his blue van at the Walmart parking lot in Moses Lake. The dogs are growing in popularity, and Hemby has sold a lot of them in recent years. Oh, goodness. Probably 300, if not more. I've got puppies in Canada. I've got puppies in Mexico. I've got puppies all over. Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, you name it. Nevada, and a lot here in the Northwest. To say Hemby loves his dingoes seems like an understatement. He pulls out one of his seven-week-old pups. Mm. Mm. Little boy. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. Well, that wraps up our weekend edition. iFiber One News will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. with the latest news from around the Columbia Basin. Thank you for watching and go Seahawks.